Hello and welcome back. Plastics. What do you understand about them? Have you ever done any research on them? One of my huge concerns is a lot of the chemicals that are put into our water supply, aside from things like antibiotics and um, also like birth control pills and all the rest of it, which all get flushed down there. Now, and also that our filter systems aren't able to filter those things out. If you look at any good plastic, you will find on the bottom or on the side, it will have a triangle with a number and some letters underneath. Let me remind you about what they stand for and then afterwards what they do. This is probably the only plastic, or this is another one that I have in this house, and this is e-cover for washing up liquid. And on here, it's got a triangle with the number two, and then it says P-E-H-D doesn't usually with number two. Normally with the number two it'll have underneath HDPE but they've just rearranged the letters. And that's a high density polyethylene. That's what it stands for. Another type of plastic would be, and this is a similar one here, a Faith in Nature hand wash. And it's got a triangle. Now this one actually hasn't got a number in it but if it did it would have the number one because it has the letters PET. Now you may find if you get a plastic which is graded as a 1, that's a polyethylene, um, polyethylene to phthalate and it'll be spelt P-E-T-E. -E. You'll also get a one with a, a plastics with a triangle with the number 4 which would be um, LDPE, low density um, polyethylene. Sometimes you have one with a triangle with the number 5 and it will say um, PP on it which is uh, polypropylene, and then sometimes you'll get another one with a triangle with a number 7 PC. Now, I used to believe that if it, a normal bottle, let's say it was uh, even one of the world's best water, you've got Volvic, Evian, uh, Vitel, um, let's say it was Evian, 300 parts per million, pH 7.2, great water. Unfortunately, it's stored mostly in plastic with a number 1. And I used to be told it's a one-time use only. If it's been anywhere near the sunlight, then you've actually transferred some of the um, dioxins and other plastic ingredients into it. They're called like xenoestrogens because they operate similar to female estrogens. So if you'd like to increase your chances of getting breast cancer, whether you're a man or a woman, then obviously introduce plastic into your diet. The, the, the so-called good plastics would be a 2 HDPE, 4 LDPE or 5 PP. I would strongly recommend that you still use glass, but those have been seen to be okay. You may have seen those big um, 5 gallon drums with the PC and the polycarbonate on them. I will guarantee you that the plastic will transfer into that and you'll either taste it in the water or it will certainly be there and it was an endocrine disruptor. Worse still is if you actually got some plastic and put it in a microwave, that would be a definite no-no, or yes, yes, if you wanted to um, create a disease. It will totally transfer the plastics into your food, so please do not use a microwave. I've done one on microwaves that you can read about on one of my other recordings. But please understand about the plastics. A lot of us believe that the healthy waters are stored in plastic. And actually that is not true. I'm not saying that it's any better or any worse than your tap water. What I do recommend is that you get a, re a filter system or even a reverse osmosis system put in and add a pinch of Himalayan Celtic or Hawaiian salt in order to energize the water because we've never been drinking water which is just totally demineralized. As I mentioned before, um, Evian water has 309 parts per million and you know some mineral salts in there. So the thing that you can do is obviously ensure that you are not using plastics. It also doesn't help our environment, it doesn't help the other animals that are out there swimming in the stuff and there's so many plastics that are just dumped into our oceans as well as our landfills. But the actual problem obviously from a human point of view is devastating to what it causes us over time as we continually drink from out of plastic bottles or even drinking you know tap water that isn't filtered. 
I just also want to remind you that although some of the waters that I mentioned before are good for you, that's for the water that's tested at the site. But once they're put in plastics and transported, you've got radioactive chemicals that have been found in there, industrial solvents which have been found in there. Obviously the chemicals themselves have been leached into it. And I did some research and I found that the industry in the US is worth 11.5 billion. That was in 2007. That's the plastic industry. So it obviously, it's in their interest to continue using it, but you as a consumer, as I mentioned before, can vote with your money and your feet by choosing not to buy products that are contained within plastic. Like I say, please shop local where you can, certainly choose organic, but also speak to the people that produce these if you so choose, but vote with your money, just don't buy the stuff because ultimately it comes by and it affects you or it will affect your children. So plastics, glass is better, ceramic, those kind of things, and please, whatever you do, don't wrap things in aluminium or aluminium foil. Hello, McFly, <laughs> bring on Alzheimer's. Hopefully you found that useful with some of the plastics. Again, do your own due diligence and homework, but glass is best, as best you can, stay away from plastic. Thank you very much for listening. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.